Roy, first of all, how are you and the rest of the coaching staff looking back on the, the PSV game? Certainly very exciting and a, a draw to take over to Eindhoven for the second leg. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you come in the playoffs, you will face a good opponent and that's what we had. I mean, I think for the neutral viewer, it was a yeah, very interesting game on on Tuesday and yeah, all to play for next week in Eindhoven. From an attacking sense, how pleased were you with the, the team's performance? Created a lot of chances against a, a very good team. Yeah, we had, yeah, I mean, we had the chance. I think we scored an amazing first goal. Nice attack of our right side and a great finish from Antonio. And yeah, that's we know they have a good squad, but they also conceded a lot of goals in the game. So I'm sure we will get our chances next week as well. How pleased are you with not only Antonio, but the whole squad really contributing in terms of goals and assists and on Antonio, you know, grabbing No, I mean, of course, I think it's always nice when your strikers are scoring, but yeah, you need more goals than only your goals from your striker to be successful. And I think it's very nice to see that uh, Tom got, uh, is getting his goals. And of course, Tef, Tef is always having his goals, but you can't rely on just one player to score goals. You need more players, but we have a lot of players in the squad who can score goals and have that quality, so very pleased with that. How much hope and confidence can you take to the second leg based on the amazing European run you had last season? Oh, but of course, I mean, all the teams know what our qualities is as well. They know we're not a side who's easy to beat, so I mean, the team is already looking forward to next week, but like we have a game before in the league and that's, so now all our focus is on the hips and from Saturday afternoon after the game is done, then our focus will go to PSV and that's the way it should be. Yeah, going to, to Hibs, it was one of your first games when you came to the club last November. How much have you enjoyed going to the likes of Easter Road, Tynecastle for Hearts, Aberdeen, really intense games? Yeah, man, I mean, we know yeah, they have a good team as well. We, we had an intense game last year, which we won by penalty from Kamar just before the end, but it's going to be an intense game on Saturday as well, so we know what to expect and like I said, we have a we had a three days preparation towards hips. That's really something different than we're used to normally with two days. So the team will be well prepared. How useful is it having that extra day and also being able to, to fit in a bounce game against Huddersfield this week? No, but I mean, it's always good to have an extra day. I mean, of course, the, eh, the, the players is, are used to playing so many games, but it always helps when you have like 24 hours extra of rest. Because you, know, you always get small knocks in games and you have an extra day to recover from that. So. It's always nice to have an extra day, but always you have to deal with the situation. How much do you enjoy the, the challenge of going from playing against PSV, where it's such an open game, to maybe, perhaps might be different, but Scottish fixtures where you're maybe playing a, against a lower block? No, but you have to face every challenge. And I mean, I think it's very important that now you park the PSV game, the Champions League, although it's tempting to think about next Wednesday, because we want to be champion as well. So for, to be champion, you need to win this, these difficult away games as well and we know it's not an easy one, hips away, but with the quality we have, we can win it, but then we have to be just be focused on that game and not thinking about Wednesday already. That's, like I said, we have plenty of time after Saturday to prepare for the Champions League again. And fantastic. You go to Hibs, you'll be going to Eindhoven, you're going to have thousands of Rangers fans there. It must be amazing for everyone for the club to know you're going to have that backing. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, <laughs> I don't mean it wrong, but I'm already used to it, how many fans are following the team and us and supporters everywhere we go. And of course, it's always nice to have that backing from your fans, especially in the moments in the game when it's tough, because that happens as well. The fans can help you through those moments and you know, we have amazing fans. I mean, that's what however many months since last November since you came in, how much have you enjoyed being a part of this club? Because you've been at huge clubs in your career. I mean, how does, how does that compare the intensity and just everything that goes with it? No, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, we started at the end of November and I'm still enjoying every day I'm here. I mean, the home games at Ibrox are something special every game and even the European nights makes it more special. But if you see how many fans follow us in away games, a lot of away games, it feels like a home game with all the support we have. But a lot of games, I think, the more Rangers fans on the stands than the home team. So, there's something really special.